Hi, I'm Laura Jo. And I'm Monday. Um, today we're going to do a video on packing for a Disney cruise. This, this is not really specific to a Disney cruise, but we are going on a Disney cruise in a week. So we've got all our stuff together and I just thought I'd go over a few things that are good to pack. Firstly, we're going to talk about lanyards. These are great to wear around your neck to hold your room key. There are a couple different styles. I like these ones. They're pretty simple for the kids. They just hold one card. There's also the uh, waterproof phone cases. This one fits pretty much all sizes of phones in. You can also put your, your room key in it and you can scan it through the plastic as well. So they're quite handy to have, especially around water. When we leave the ports, we'll be definitely taking our lanyards and our keys in one of these pouches see sickness tablets for the kids and for adults um there's a couple of things that you can do um and talk to your doctor if you want the patches that are prescribed to you they'll let you know a little bit more about that um the big ships do have stabilizers so it's pretty uncommon to get seasick unless you're prone to it but if you're fine in a car, you should be fine on a ship. But that being said, you never know if rough waters are coming your way. Um, for the adults, I just recommend this. It's um, Bonine. It's very good. You can use Dramamine as well. It's just over the counter. It's just one pill every day. Um, and it's non-drowsy. So make sure you're getting the non-drowsy non Dramamine if you don't want to be drowsy. There's the Dramamine for kids, which um, I'm taking uh, enough for three kids for seven nights, just in case we have one kid that doesn't like the motion. Another thing you can use, and I'm, I always take Benadryl with me on most of my trips. Um, I usually do the tablet form because it's easier to carry and I don't have to worry about leakage. Um, the, my pediatrician did just recommend Benadryl for seasickness. So it's just half the dose that you would normally use. So the weights on the back and everything, and that should take away any nausea, um, for the kids. And she said that is quite, it, it's used quite often, but I thought that was great because if you just wanted to take Benadryl and use that as seasickness, tablets then you've also got benadryl for any kind of allergies bites um you know sneezes whatever it is you don't know what you're going to encounter on some of these beaches so i would definitely recommend some children's benadryl and some adults benadryl if you think that um that is needed as well the next thing we're going to we're going to recommend is just taking some medications that you just normally have at home ibuprofen just in a little bottle like this some um you know kids ibuprofen as well some paracetamol or um tylenol is always helpful um antacid tablets they are they're worth throwing in for sure if you just want to take five or ten of them instead of this one's got um oh 14 tablets so and that was only a couple bucks if you get on the ship and need them they may have them they may not but they will not be a couple bucks i can guarantee you that um also some before you go spray this is really cool it's a tiny little thing so you don't need to take any air freshener like big bottles of air freshener you spray this before you go to the bathroom um in the cabins it's they're small um so it, it's good to have something like this um, what are we going to do next, London? Oh, we've done those. That's just more Dramamine. <laughs> what about, yep, anything um, here? What about this? Oh, yeah. um, so very important, we're doing the Western Caribbean cruise. So we've got to take 
a lot of sunscreen. Um, make sure you take enough. Work out how much you think you will need for every day, for every kid. Um, and I like the lotion more than the spray, personally. Um, especially to travel with, I also put them in anything like that that could leak. I put them in a Ziploc. Ziploc, all sizes are really handy to take on a cruise. So just chuck some Ziplocs in. They can be used for wet clothes, dirty clothes. If someone has an accident on the plane or something like that, you can just put it in the um, Ziploc and deal with it later. Uh, the next thing I love to take on all my vacations is detergent for washing. I always, well, I nearly always wash on every vacation. We take enough for about three to four days worth of clothes. Um, we take two pairs of pajamas and then we, after they're all dirty, we wash them and then we can go another two to four days. Um, this will always save you money. I just add a little dryer sheet in there because I think it's cool and it makes everything smell nice. Um, make sure you are securing those in a little glad, um, in a little Ziploc or glad bag um, because you do not want those to break. Um, oh, very important for us is chapsticks. I always throw these in my suitcase. Um, I always try and throw one in my purse as well to travel with. To keep your lips not dry. Exactly, to keep your lips not dry. So we always love a chapstick. The um, SPF ones are really good as well while on vacation. Um, let's talk about some little creams and things that we can take. Um, again, Benadryl. I love this stuff. It's just a little... Um, you just dab it on your skin. If you've got a, a mosquito bite or a jellyfish bite or anything like that, and it will take the sting out, it'll also stop the itching. So pretty handy to have for a vacation. Also hydrocortisone cream. This is pretty cheap and we always have it in, in, in our house for rashes and stings and everything else. So I always throw... Uh, some of that in. Uh, these, you can hold one up. Um, these are wrinkle spray, wrinkle releaser spray. The Disney ship does have a laundry. Um, a lot of ships don't have laundries, especially the more uh, luxury ones like Celebrity. I know they don't have a laundry. Um, they have laundry service, but Disney does have a laundromat i think there's three or four on the ship um with irons and you know dries and washes i spray this on my clothes um before i hang them up so i get them out of my suitcase spray it on hang them up and your wrinkles should be gone unless there's a lot of them i'm not planning to iron on my vacation um also for us with hair we love to take hair scrunchies and like rubber band things yep rubber bands you don't want to be on a vacation without hair. rubber bands hair bands and your hair's flying everywhere and you're super uncomfortable yeah and your hair's messy and it's in your way and stuff yeah so i always pack these in my larger suitcase um, and then I take a couple for my purse as well. The same with the thing. Um, I don't have babies at home anymore. My youngest is London, who's five. But I always take baby wipes. I love them for anything. I try and take this in my carry-on bag for the plane in case someone spills something on themselves or what touches something that I think is going to cause me to go crazy. So I pull out the baby wipes. Um, your cabins, if you're not aware, your cabins, all your cabins are, ma are magnetic. So you can stick up um, these little hooks and use them for just about anything. Uh, towels. Um, I'm just pulling 
<laughs> oh, the Mickey. Um, towels or anything else that you want to dry or hang. Um, if you don't have a clothesline in your shower, you can hang the clothesline up from this as well. Um, if you're going on a Disney cruise, you can take Minnie Mouse ears. There are lots of people that wear Minnie Mouse ears. Um, so if you have a pair, take it and you will fit right in. Um, these are these are quite new to me. They're beach shoes. Um, they just slip on your feet and they're meant to be super comfortable and lightweight. And then you can walk on the rocks or do things like that without hurting your feet. The last thing I want to do is feel like um, I have sore feet. Um, the other thing that I'm going to just talk about before we go on to the next thing is one of these. I have traveled with one of these forever. I love them. I've had quite a few styles. This one I love. It goes around my neck under my shirt, but it can pop out the bottom near my waist. So I put all my passports, photocopies of anything that I think I will need while traveling. Um, you know, if I'm going straight to a hotel and it's late at night, I have that information in here. Um, I have uh, five passports. They fit in here. I put my money and my credit cards in here as well. And this stays around my neck the whole time um, that I'm traveling on planes. And then I'm not stressed about where everything is. If you think you're going to need it, I'm not sure, but a sleeping mask is quite handy. The One of these ones too. You can order these on Amazon or online. Yep, you can. And we got this one at Claire's, which is London's, and she uses it quite often. Um, so another thing, also if you, you're traveling at night on the plane, or you're coming from overseas, definitely a, a mask. Some, I know Qantas, no, I'm not going to do those. Um, I know Qantas and a few of the airlines supply those for overseas, but not if you're just going from Denver like we are to um, thing. Another thing is I would recommend taking is a watch. Um, I have a, an Apple watch but it won't keep the right time for me while I'm out um, cruising in the Caribbean. So you need to make sure that you're aware of the ship's time versus the port's time. Sometimes they can differ. I'm not sure with our cruise whether they'll differ, but I don't want to be thinking it's one o'clock and it's really four o'clock because it's saying it's one o'clock on my Apple Watch. So I'm going to set this to the ship's time. They do tell you when it changes, so I can just easily change um, that as well. Also, let's just talk a little bit about door magnets. A lot of the cruise lines have banned door magnets. Disney has not yet. I don't know whether they will in the future. Um, but these ones I just made myself. They just stick on your door. So you can recognize your door and it's fun for the kids. If they do ban them, you can still have them on the inside of your door. Um, apparently it's for safety reasons for some other ships. So just be aware of that. Um, also, um, if you don't know what these are, these are packing cubes. They come in all different shapes and sizes. They come, come in sets. I bought five sets, one set for every person in our family. Um, they all have a different color and some of them are different styles. But I love them. I pack, um, I've, I've heard a few people do it differently. Some pack outfits, including shoes and underwear and their daily um outfits in each one um, I put all my tops in one all my bottoms in one my underwear goes in one and my swimmers go in one so you get the picture um, 
they're really good when we get we're taking two suitcases or hope to take two suitcases when we get onto the ship we're going to unpack everyone can grab their um packing cubes and they can unpack i also use them for laundry when one is empty um and we have a bunch of dirty clothes i just put them in one and then i get to the laundry another great thing to take are pegs um these are really great for a lot of things just handy to have um on a cruise we like to hang up our swimmers yeah they are lots of multicolors, huh mm -hmm. um we like to hang our swimmers up in the bathroom uh, we also do this on nearly any vacation we go on we are going to take two sets of swimmers this time so we're not um, swimming late at night pegging our swimmers up and then in the morning they're still a little bit damp we don't want to get off onto a port with uh, damp swimmers Watching, guys um give us a big thumbs up click that subscribe button turn on notifications bye guys